Hey everyone and welcome back. This is my Too Many Games pickup video from my recent trip down to the Too Many Games convention in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Went down with uh, some Ontario members of the Cartridge Club and also met up with other members uh, all over North America that showed up down there for this weekend event. Uh, ended up being, including travel time, five days for us. Uh, but all in all, it was worth it. Got to meet a lot of great people that I've only been talking to online and have finally been able to uh, meet face to face. So drove down with four other people. Um, we went on Friday. When we stopped to get lunch, uh, we also hit up a thrift store while we were there. Um, they had a couple of vinyls that I picked up. Uh, the first one being Rush. Uh, yeah, sorry, Moving Pictures. And then the other one I grabbed was uh, Chicago. So these were $2 a piece, I believe. And then they also had these video cassettes for 25 cents each. I grabbed these because I'm a fan of the series. It was on TV, but this it was VHS copies of The Muppet Show. Uh, three individual shows on each cassette. And the reason I grabbed these was because uh, these contained never before seen released footage in North America at the time of these, this printing anyway. Uh, this one has book shields on it. This one has one of the guests is Liza Minnelli. One of the guests is Kenny Rogers. Uh, Carol Burnett, Steve Martin, Gilda Radner. Uh, Roger Moore. Uh, these next two are actually sealed. Uh, John Denver, Linda Ronstadt. And this one had uh, James Colburn and Sylvester Stallone. And I also grabbed, I don't know why I grabbed this one. Now that I started looking at it, Turtles coming out of their shell live tour. Uh, I don't know why I grabbed that. So anyway, um, I don't remember the exact order of everything that I grabbed, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to start off. Uh, the Saturday, though, was the first day that we went to the convention show. Went out for some garage sailing prior to the event. Uh, that'll show the entire uh, lots that we picked up. We each grabbed what we wanted out of it, and then the remaining pieces we were going to sell off and then split the profits. So this is what I took out of it. Uh, Tengen RBI Baseball. Um, Tecmo Bowl. Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing. If I remember right, these are all complete. Uh, Back to the Future Part 2 and 3. And this one, I don't know what this is. Uh, Decidia 012 Duo Decim Final Fantasy. Never heard of this Final Fantasy version before. And I still don't have a PSP. Even though I've got a boatload of RPGs. Uh, moving on, this was an Atari. I had an Atari table there at the actual show when we went there Saturday. Um, I think these were a dollar each, if I remember correctly. They fly for a buck or something. Uh, Super Baseball. Uh, Telegames. Oh, sorry, Target Fun. Circus Atari. Space War, and then I don't know what this one is, but it's MAD. So it was, uh, yeah, those were a dollar each. Um, got this Super Famicom lot. The guy, the same table as guys also selling these off. So these were ten dollars for the four. Uh, Romancing Saga. The, I don't have a Famicom to play with. Uh, but you can do it on a Super Nintendo if you clip the tabs. But really, I grabbed these just for sort of getting into the artwork of Famicom. Uh, Fantastic Theater, Afaria. This was Cardmaster. And uh, I don't know what this one is. Sort of looks like super romancing. The Three Kingdoms. 
Romance of the Three Kingdoms super version? I don't know. Um, some other f Famicom games. Uh, I grabbed these the last day, I know that. So I paid um, $12 each for these. Um, first one is Dark Half. Uh, Dragon Quest VI and Romancing Saga II. Um, grabbed an Atari game here. This is, uh, I think I grabbed this the last day too, Street Racer. Uh, complete, this is the uh, text, the text version. Um, it also came with the Atari catalog, so I always like seeing, always like seeing that stuff. Uh, oh, three more Atari games. I think these were from the same table. Uh, Surround, Video Olympics, and Arcade Pinball. Uh, grab some NES games. Uh, if I remember correctly, these are, I paid five dollars, well this goes with the conversion, so I paid 20 for these, but so it's 25 Canadian, five each, uh, Monopoly, track and field two, uh, football, MLB baseball, and uh, mystery quest. Um, <coughs> some more NES. I don't remember what I paid for these exactly, though I know I got these all at once, so I think there was some sort of deal. Uh, Russian Attack. Uh, snake Rattle and Roll. DuckTales. Super Spike V-Ball, Nintendo World Cup, Combo Kart, Mickey Mouse Capades, uh, Wall Street Kid, and Skater Die 2. <clears throat> um, did those ones. Another NES slot. I don't remember what I paid for this one either, but again, I got them all together. Section Z. Um, Barker Bell's Trick Shooting. Uh, Load Runner. Spy Hunter. Astian X. And Commando. A little bit more NES here. This was from my friend NJ Retro. Um, he did a dirty trunk deal uh, Saturday night, I want to say, at the hotel. I had a bunch of stuff that he brought down to the show, so he gave out great deals to the club members. So thanks, NJ Retro. Um, so, <clears throat> first one is Donkey Kong Classics. Xenophobe, Dig Dug 2, Mechanized Attack, <coughs> Burger Time, Elevator Action, uh, Defender 2, McKids, Kid Icarus, Ninja Game 2, The Dark Sword of Chaos, Oops, it's gonna fall. and this PlayStation uh, long box, uh, Nova Storm. So he gave me all of those for, it ended up being $56 Canadian, um, essentially half of what the stickers were on there for it, and certainly a lot less than what the actual quote-unquote price charting guide costs are for those games so thanks to NJ Retro for being such a great guy and for supporting all of us in the club 
And I think that's two more games. This was definitely the last deal I got at the show. Buy one, get one free at this table. So I got these two complete. Uh, Bad Dudes and Cobra Command. And those were, I want to say 12 each. 15, 15 each after uh, after doing the exchange version. And then one last thing while I was at the show, um, I've been meaning to grab this book, but just due to shipping costs, due to the weight of it, um, it's, it wasn't feasible for me to ship it from the States to Canada. So I just happened to ran into uh, Pat Contry at the show and grabbed his ultimate guide to the NES library book. Um, you can see how thick it is. And it is, uh, I haven't opened yet, but he did sign it for me. And um, the weight on it is certainly not feasible for shipping it out to uh, Canada. So maybe uh, in a couple of years when I go to another show or something, I can grab his Super Nintendo book when he has it out. Anyway, uh, happy to meet him because I listened to his podcast. And I think that's it. If I forgot anything else, uh, too bad. But um, those are my pickups from Too Many Games. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, leave me a couple comments or thoughts on what you thought about what I grabbed. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you again real soon.